All right, this lecture is about battery state of charge, sometimes abbreviated SOC, in fact, many times abbreviated SOC. All right, this is from uh, Istra Analytics. I'm Joe East, uh, Chief Technical Officer of the company, and uh, below is my contact information in case you need to uh, ask me any more questions. Let's go on to the next slide. So before we get started with a state of charge, we need to put some warnings here because um, as opposed to your cell phone, which has got a lot of safety features built in around it and several uh, large companies have uh, put the safety systems around that protect you, uh, if you're selling cells or battery systems, you need to know uh, that it's quite dangerous what we're doing here in uh, all uh, warnings, precautions, attention. Uh, we must uh, warn everybody messing around with these batteries to follow all safety procedures. Number one, within your company. Number two, within your industry best practices. Number three, pay attention to the legal regulations within your area's jurisdiction. Uh, the reason for this is batteries can be dangerous. There is always a fire hazard. Uh, there is sometimes an electric shock hazard. There is often also a chemical hazard. And finally, there's the short circuit hazard. So be aware of these things and make sure you take all proper precautions. Thanks. Let's get into the next slide. So state of charge is very similar to the fuel gauge on your vehicle for gasoline in your gas tank. So whenever your fuel gauge is on E, it's uh, empty, you know, 0% gasoline available to drive, right? And similar if it's on F, uh, it means full and you have 100% of your uh, capacity of your gas tank ready to be exploited <laughs> uh, with a mile, mileage in miles, miles per gallon, right? And, and each of these tick marks, you typically have uh, one half, uh, one fourth, and three fourths, or three quarters. So uh, whenever you had a half tank, you can say I got 50% gas in my tank. Uh, when you're at three quarters of a tank, you can say I'm at 75% gas in my tank. When you're at the one fourth, uh, you can say I have 25% uh, gas remaining in my tank. In the same way, we can say state of charge corresponds to the numbers in red. So whenever you read the availability of charge or state of charge for a battery system, it's usually going to be a number between 0 and 100. Again, we're not probably going to run into anything like a, a fuel gauge empty and full and one half and one fourth and three quarters. It's typically in a percentage. Let's go to the next slide. So when we define state of charge, we're looking at the capacity of the battery. For example, let's say we have a 100 amp hour battery and we only have 50 amp hours available because we only have it half charged. Well, we say that the state of charge is 50%, right? Because 50 divided by 100 is 50%. <laughs> And that is pretty much the, uh, the definition of state of charge, the amount of charge available in the cell right now divided by the amount of capacity of the cell or the battery. It's very simple. Like I said, it's very similar to your gas gauge on your car. If you have half a tank of gas, you can say I have 50% uh, energy capacity available for my gas tank if you were speaking of say gasoline or diesel in your in your vehicle same thing so we're half charged at 50 percent if we have 50 amp hours of availability of charge uh, with a total charge capacity of 100 amp hours let's move on to the next slide the easiest analogy to use for battery state of charge is a bucket of water. So let's say we have a five gallon bucket of water, which is quite common if you're uh, messing around with uh, 
uh, water in your pouring water in, say, a garden or something in your backyard or if you're on a farm. Um, so let's say we have a five gallon bucket, but we only have three gallons of water inside of the five gallon bucket. Well, let's say we're just making up an equation to say how much water we have in the bucket. Let's say we call it this equation state of bucket. SOB, or we're just making something up here, right? Uh, something, say, we've never heard of. SOB, state of bucket. And we have three gallons divided by five gallons, right? So the bucket is 60% full. Or we can say the state of bucket, the SOB, is 60%. In the same way we talk about uh, charge capacity of batteries, except in batteries is typically in uh, amp hours on the capacity. Very good analogy. Uh, perhaps most people have uh, experience with buckets of water, so that's the easy one to use. Let's move on to the next slide. So with batteries, whenever you're looking at the state of charge, let's go through a few examples here. Let's say we have a, a battery with 75% state of charge. Well, we're looking at this diagram. I even include the bucket of water to the right uh, to keep you uh, informed. Hey, it's kind of sort of like, you know, filling up a bucket of water. So the, the battery bucket, as it were, is capable of carrying 100 amp hours of charge. However, I only have 75 amp hours of charge in this battery, quote unquote, bucket, right? So the state of charge is 75 divided by 100, or 75% state of charge. Again, we're always looking at the amount of charge capacity the battery has and the amount of charge available. And we take the amount of charge available and divide it by the amount of charge capacity. Again, this is an example for... 75% state of charge. Let's move on to the next slide. Another example, 50% uh, state of charge. Okay, uh, We have a battery with the amount of charge capacity of 100 amp hours. The amount of charge available is 50 amp hours. So 50 amp hours divided by 100 amp hours equals 50%. Our state of charge in this instance is 50%. Again, I've kept the water bucket uh, picture in here for a good analogy. So you can remember, it's kind of like having, you know, a 100-gallon bucket. That would be quite large, right? <laughs> but you only have 50 gallons of water in the bucket for a capacity bucket of 100 gallons. And the uh, the percentage of uh, what you have in the bucket would be the same, 50% full. The bucket is 50% full, and the same way that this battery is 50% state of charge. And we have come to the end of this sample. Appreciate you watching and listening. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and uh, you guys take care and stay safe out there. Thank you. Goodbye.